What's going on, everybody? Back at it here with another New York Giants film review. And in this week's film review, I'll be going over three plays that really stuck out in the Christmas Eve matchup against the Minnesota Vikings. But first, folks, as always, if you're new, make sure to check us out on all of our social media on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Big Blue Avenue. We do weekly recaps of the games that take place, any special transactions. We go over our film reviews weekly and our weekly live stream Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Also, quick shout out to our sponsor, BetUS. You can sign up with our promo code below there at join125 and get a 125% sign up bonus where you can bet on the go anywhere, anytime. That is BetUS where the game begins. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on to our week 16 film review. Took the three best plays of the game for me personally against the Minnesota Vikings. Um, this first play, Giants are down 10 0 in the second quarter. Uh, they're lurking in the red zone here. Daniel Jones does a really good job of extending this play. We'll play it through once and then we'll break it down. All right. So, Giants here, two receiver set. So Minnesota, it looks like they're playing man from this look, but then they're playing off of these corners. So that tells them they might be going zone. Saquon, the single back. Daniel Bellinger, the tight end in motion. And you have Nick Vanette lined up here. So Bellinger goes back in motion. Minnesota expects run. Jones does a good job selling the play fake. They are dropping back into somewhat of a zone coverage here. You can see the cut from Bellinger, but Neal does not do the best job. Neither does Andrew Thomas on sealing the edge. To Neal Hunter and Darius Smith, both good edge rushers, but Daniel Jones does a good job recognizing that. Steps up in the pocket. I sometime gets it around Harrison Smith. I have no idea how he does this, or Eric Kendricks, pardon finds Isaiah Hodgins, who scores his third touchdown as a giant. Just an absolutely incredible play. You see Bellinger there running across the formation. You can see how Hodgins starts over here on the left side of the field. Does a little crossing pattern. He stops. Jones is trying to elude pressure. Hodgins keeps moving with the play, creates the separation and scores. Isaiah Hodgins has been a gem of a pickup this season for Big Blue three touchdowns and over 350 receiving yards in just seven games with the Giants. And this was a guy who was claimed off the Buffalo Bills practice squad. Now, fast forwarding to very late in the game, Giants are faced with a fourth and two in Vikings territory. Uh, they're down by eight. They need to score a touchdown and convert the two-point conversion. So we'll play it through once and then break it down. Beautiful play design by Coach Kafka. Jones was balling it out on this drive. Really good drive for him. You'd see the Giants three receiver set, right? Richie James in the slot with Hodgins and Slay. Uh, Bellinger is in the football game as well. And what they do is they try to spread Minnesota out so that there's only one, two, three, four, five, six guys in the box, essentially speaking. And this safety back here has to account for Daniel Bellinger or potentially help on Slayton, depending on what Harrison Smith decides to do. So they take the snap. Again, this is a good rush here. Unblocked player. Jones is looking at that defender square in the face. And Saquon just beats him to it. And this is a good push here up the middle. We need to credit the interior offensive line. I mean, look at Mark Lewinsky just mauling his guy backwards. Help clearing that path. Nick Gates as well. Beautiful block, and Saquon does the rest. I mean, you could see it again. You see Neil is circled here. He completely misses Jordan Hicks, but he does a good job blocking that next guy. Saquon sees the hole immediately, shoots the gap, boom. Gates gets enough of his man, and he's in the house for a touchdown. 
Now, the final play of this film review, Giants are down by two. This is the following play. They need a two-point conversion to tie the, the football game. Now, this is where Daniel Jones is really starting to earn his worth. So, you can see here they run a similar formation and play to what they ran in week one against the Tennessee Titans. Minnesota's a little confused here defensively. They're not sure what's going on. Again, three receivers with one tight end and Saquon. Now, back in week one against Tennessee, you saw them pitch this to Saquon, similar to the Kansas City special, but we'll let it roll through once and then analyze. Nicely done. Toe tap score. Now, okay. Richie James. Watch Richie James through the first look of this play. This play has several different looks. James is in motion here. And Jones, they're thinking, up, oh, roll out. James is trying to sniff through the defense. And they have a shot here if Jones pitches to him right now. But there's a chance that Jordan Hicks can easily make this play. Jones doesn't even think about it. He's thinking Saquon in the flat. But now he looks and sees Richie. He's not so sure he's going to get in. If he does, he gets stopped. What does he do? He continues to extend the play, buys time for his receivers, steps down, forces the defenders to come up. He can try to skyrocket it to Richie here, plump it over the defender's head, or go deep to the back of the end zone for his 6'5 tight end, which is what he does. Daniel Bellinger, classic toe tap in the back of the end zone over Patrick Peterson, who nearly deflected this ball. So Jones has a very tight window to throw this here. You'll see another look. Again, I don't think James will get it on this play. Um, I wish Neil – Glow has his guy down, so I wish Neil would kind of get ready for this linebacker and wait and then advance forward once James gets the football um, if that's what they were going to do. Now, Bellinger's wide open. And this is a mistake here by Minnesota. They're playing up, and Patrick Peterson comes across late. Why is nobody on that tight end? That is a blown coverage by the Vikings, and that's what really could prone them to an early upset in the playoffs. Again, Harrison Smith is running across, but he needs to be further back, or there needs to be corner help on this guy. The whole pre-snap motion with Richie James is what throws this off. So it's a really good play design by Coach Kafka. The Giants tie the game at 24 points apiece, and that's going to wrap up our Week 16 film review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, Giants looking for their first playoff berth in six years next week against the Indianapolis Colts. I'm very excited to preview that game. Folks, one more time, make sure to check us out on all of our social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Big Blue Avenue. Appreciate all the support. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. And without further ado, let's go Big Blue.